everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. And I'm back with another video. Now this is going to be another how-to videos, as the last video did very well than usual. And this will be how to connect your Xbox One controller to your Windows 10 PC. Now this will, will be great if you are playing a game, maybe you don't have a cord, or you don't have you, or you don't want to use a cord to connect your controller, which you can just plug it in if you wanted to. But this will be a full tutorial on to connect it wirelessly. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to turn on your Xbox controller. And note that you have to be using the second generation Xbox controller. There are two. The first generation, which came with the original Xbox One, has two separate plastic pieces by the top center side. The second generation is just one plastic piece. That's how you can tell them apart. The first generation will not work because it cannot connect to your computer. Now that you have your second generation controller turned on, if you see that little button towards the top that has the three little curves, you're going to click and hold that for three seconds until the Xbox light, that's the big symbol in the middle, starts flashing. So once you're doing that, you're going to go over on your computer and you're going to go into your Bluetooth settings. So you're going to click the Windows key and you're going to click and you're going to start typing Bluetooth. You're going to press enter so it goes to the nearest settings into the Bluetooth settings. You can also go into settings manually but it's just easier to do it this way. You're going to go to add Bluetooth or other device which is up here at the top. Now, you can buy a wireless adapter from Microsoft. It's a little USB stick and you put it in your computer. And it'll allow things like headsets and controllers to connect wirelessly. But that's a little bit harder because you have to buy something now. Now, if you don't want to buy anything, you want to do this the free way, which is the better way. You just click Bluetooth up here and let it sync a little bit. Now, the thing that should pop up is it'll say Xbox Wireless Controller Input. That's the name of it. You're going to click on that. It's going to say Connecting. Now, if you look down on your Xbox controller, it has stopped flashing. And it's going to say we're setting up a device. So it has to, you know, probably install all the drivers and everything like that. You're going to click Done down here. You can see it is now connected. And just for proof that this actually works, I will go into Beam and G Drive and I will show you that I can play with the controller fully connected wirelessly. Okay, so I am in Beam and G Drive right now and I will use the controller here. You can see as I click on the, the D-pad right here, you can see it does work. A, everything will work. Now, if it looks a little bit strange, that's because I have it in a smaller screen so that it runs a lot smoother. So, if we click Spawn here, once we actually get into the game, I will show you that it does truly work. I am not just making this up. You can go home and try this if you want. Okay, I'm back after that little speed up you can see as I move the joystick around you can see it does look fully around the vehicle you can see here if I press this you can see I am actually driving in Beam and G Drive right now now the reason why I use Beam and G Drive is because the other games I have do not work with controller so that's another thing. Only certain games will work with controller. You can look that up if you would like to know every game that works with controller on PC. But I know for a fact that BMG Drive does, so that's why I picked it. So you can see everything does work. It's a little crash for you there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye!